Dance party with an eight foot tall paintbrush. I know. So, it's this thing I do. I take this eight foot tall paintbrush and I wander around outside. I go on these art explorations and I see what can I find. Today I went looking for primary colors. That was so much fun. What colors right behind me? Draw together, our work here is done. Ah, primary colors, red, blue, yellow. Cool. You don't need an eight foot tall paintbrush to see things out in the world. You just need to put on your artistic eyes, pay attention. You never know what you might find. Let's draw. Hello, and welcome to Draw Together. I'm Wendy Mack. We are here with Suso. And art assistant Caroline. Say hi. She's shy. And you. What's your name? I'm so happy to see you. Well, after a day of running around and looking at primary colors, I thought it would be pretty fun to go to the kid request line and see if we have any fun requests about color. Sound good? Kid request. Hi, my name's Isla. I'm five and a half. My request is a rainbow garden, and a rainbow garden is a garden with flowers, all the colors of a yeah. rainbow. Bye! Rainbow garden? Isla, you nailed it. And... I just happen to have these colorful rainbow flowers right here. Funny how that happens in a show, right? All right, let's draw. What are we gonna need? Let's draw. All right, so we're gonna draw a rainbow garden. We're gonna have a whole bunch of flowers. Just like this. This one's red. So let's draw a petal shape, one that goes up just like this. Your flower can be any shape. I'm going to draw these tulips that are pretty much just teardrops again and again. See? You do one shape. Let's do one again right here. Let's do a teardrop shape. Then let's do the same shape right over it and the same shape right again. Oh, check that out. Let's try one more time. Teardrop shape. I guess the teardrop's going up, right? Try it again. And one more. Pretty neat. We can take the same shape, put it together, and create a new shape. We have three flowers. Just like this. I'm going to put some stems on here can't wait to color this. If you want to go ahead and start coloring, you can go for it. I'm going to draw a couple more of these tulip shapes. I'm doing loopy lines. You can do it however you want. You can draw daisies. Let's just do one for fun. We can take that same shape 
and we can make them come out from a circle in the middle. Loop, loop, loop. Same shape, different kind of flower. Let's do another one right here. Circle in the middle. Teardrop shape, teardrop shape, teardrop shape. Loop, loop, loop. <laughs> and let's put some stems on them. All the way into the ground. Let's put a line that goes across the bottom. So they're growing into the ground. Now we can take some more teardrop shapes and put them on the sides. What? Becomes leaves. But let's look at this leaf here. This leaf, there's just one big long leaf, but it's also kind of a teardrop shape. It's a little pointy at the end. We can try that. Let's try that here. Big long teardrop shape, pointy at the end. One more on this side. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're making a whole rainbow garden. So much out of this one shape, teardrop shapes. I'm just putting them around, making leaves. You can make out of this one and come out the other way. Teardrop shapes. All right. It's looking pretty good. How about we start making this a little bit of rainbow? What was the first primate color that we saw when we went out and we looked at all those houses? It was red. What's another primary color we saw? I'm gonna use my watercolor for this. We saw, what was it? Blue. Make it a little lighter. Just filling it in. I'm just coloring. You can color however you want. And for this one, I'm going to use a marker. Yellow. Primary colors are the three colors you can mix and make any color in the whole wide world. But here's the thing you can't make the primary colors out of anything else, they just exist. Mind blown. Those are our primary colors. Red. What's that one? Blue. Yellow. But this isn't a primary color garden. This is a rainbow garden. So let's color them in. Let's see. There's red and blue. If we mix those together, what color do we get? Purple. And if we mix blue and yellow together, what do we get? Green. And if we mix red and yellow together, what do we get? Orange. All oh, the colors of the rainbow. I'm going to paint the leaves green. Yours can be any color you want. This is a rainbow garden, but it could also be, I don't know, a gray garden. It could be a blue garden. This is your garden. But if you want to go along with Isla's request and do a rainbow garden, that means we have all the colors of the rainbow. And what are those? Red yellow, orange, blue, green, purple. Now we can just do some more fun little ones here. Draw together kids, if you wanna pause this and you wanna fill them in, you wanna put a whole bunch of flowers in here, do a bunch of coloring, you can pause this and come back after you've done coloring in your flowers and making your garden extra beautiful. See how I'm just scribbling? There's no right or wrong way to color or to draw a flower or anything for that matter. It's just whatever's fun. And for me going scribble, 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 that is super fun. Whew, it also feels good. Shake out the wrist, shake out the wrist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, that feels good. And our primary colors, red, blue and 
yellow. How did the flowers grow? With the help of a pollinator. Let's draw an oval and a circle. What are we drawing? Antenna, what is it? It's a bee. Let's give the bee some stripes. Let's give the bee some wings. Same shape as the flower petal. Big teardrops. Boom. Look at that. Little stinger. Bzz, bzz. Little triangle on the end. Little bee legs. Bee legs. Bzz, 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 bzz. Bzz, bzz. Little motion lines. Bzz, bzz. These are the little lines that say that the bee is buzzing. Bzz, 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 bzz. What color is the bee? Primary color. Primary bee. Let's do a little bit of grass at the bottom. I'm going to use my pen here. You can use your pencil or just keep coloring. Make lots of colors and scribbles. This is a rainbow garden. Super colorful. Look at that. That's pretty fun. Primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. What? That's not blue. Well, it's the best we could do. It's purple. All right, you wanna do a show? Come on, let's do a show. I can't wait to see. And show. Oh. <gasps> Look at those rainbow gardens. Look at those primary colors. I see red, blue, and yellow. And I see all those shapes you did. I see the teardrop shape and you repeated it and it made all these new shapes. You did such a great job. And I see you also went off as squiggly lines. You did your own thing and that is super awesome. Good job, artists. I'm so proud of you. Ah, that was so fun. Now remember, when you go out into the world, you can always put on your art eyes. You do not need an eight foot tall paintbrush. Put on your art eyes, look around, and see if you notice things like the primary colors that you might not otherwise see. All right, should we go say goodbye with Suso? Suso, do you wanna do pencils up with us? Huh? Okay, well, we have flowers, so. Flowers up. Flowers up. Everything is better when we draw together. What? I know it's not, it's purple. I know it's not blue, but we tried. We did the best we could. Suso, will you accept this flower? Suso?